Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I will show you a simple way to open BitLocker drives under Linux. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know we use a lot these days BitLocker under Windows for drive encryption. So if you don't know how to make that under Windows, you can see one of my videos where I show you how you can do that under Windows, okay? But the problem here is that you have, for example, USB drive that you have actually crypted BitLocker and you want to open it under Linux. So in this video, I will show you how you can do that under Ubuntu Linux. But the procedure actually is the same under also other distributions. So first thing first, you have to install what we call a program called Dislocker. So here I'm under Linux or Ubuntu. I'll use here the sudo command for getting root privileges, then up install Dislocker. So Dislocker actually is the application that will allow us to open BitLocker drive under Linux, okay? So me, I have already done that, so nothing here will change. But if you don't have it, it will be installed, okay? And you can verify that by typing this locker minus minus help to get a list of all of the options that you can use with this command, okay? So now that you have installed this program called Dislocker, it's a command line program, you have also to create actually two directories. So the first one is actually media. You can call it whatever you want. Me, I call it media BitLocker. So let me show you. It's called actually media BitLocker, but you can name it whatever you want. And the second uh, directory that you have to create is a mount point. So also you can call it whatever you want, but normally I call it mount. Okay. So in order to create these this directories, you have to issue the command make the make dir. So make directory will create for you these two directories. So you have to make dir and provide the name of the two folder that you want to actually create. So here I create media BitLocker. So BitLocker directory actually will hold a virtual NTFS partition and the directory media mount will actually hold actually the files that we are mounting. Okay. So me, I already create these two directories. And as you can see, they are quite empty. Okay. So now what we gonna do? So we gonna actually issue the first command in order to create this virtual NTFS partition. But af before that, you have actually to, uh, to know the name of the, the drive that has been encrypted using uh, BitLocker. So I will advise you to use the command list block. So use the list block before actually attaching your SP BitLocker drive and run it also after so you can see the changes. So me, if I execute this command, I get list of partition, but I know these two partitions has not been there. But when I insert my USB drive, BitLocker drive, there were the appear. So I know that actually this one here at the end is actually the partition that I want to open because it was added after I have inserted my USB drive. Okay. So remember here the partition that we're going to open is called SDK2. This is the one that has BitLocker mechanism activated on it. 
because I have previously created and put some files in it on Windows, okay? You can also use the fdisk command if you want. So for example, if I shoot command fdisk minus L, and I will provide here the full path of the partition SDK, I will get here that you can see Microsoft basic data which means this partition here is actually BitLocker encrypted okay so now that we have identified the partition that we want to open the partition that contains actually the BitLocker files let's issue the first command using this locker in order to open it okay so let me first clear that and the command that we will use is simply let me show you is this one yes so remember first you have to issue the command sudo in order to get root privileges then this locker minus v small v for web browse then minus capital v then here we specified the location or the, the name for the partition so remember when we issued command list block we get actually sdk2 so this is the partition this is the bit locker partition okay then you have to provide the option minus u then here the so after this minus u you have to issue the passphrase that you have used in order to keep to encrypt the bit locker partition so me when i created it this bit locker partition i used 2020 2020 as a password okay so once again if you don't know how to make a bit locker drive you can see how you can make it under windows on the link in the description okay so 2020 2020 is actually the password or the passphrase for this bit locker partition then minus minus then space then here you provide the first directory that you have created okay so let's make enter so wait some time so now if we list content of this bitlocker partition bitlocker directory that we have created you will notice that a file has been created which called this locker file so now all we have to do is actually to mount this file in the second di directory that we have created so let's do that we'll use another command this time so where is it so this is the one command that we will use so actually it's a mount command and we do read and write partition and here we provide the full path to this this locker file so as you can see here and at the end we provide the name or the path of the second directory the mount directory actually okay so that's it we hit enter so now we have actually mounted this this locker file so let's see the content now of our directory so media mount so you can see now that all the files that reside on this bitlocker partition is now available okay so let's for example open this auto unattended.xml file so i'll use the same command but i'll use just the cat command in order to read the content of the file here we go so you can see that uh, the file is actually readable okay so that was just a brief two commands and with two directories that you have created which allows you to read the content of this bitlocker actually drive okay so but don't forget if you finished if you want to actually uh, eject your bitlocker drive you have to unmount your directories so first we have to unmount 
the BitLocker directory. So we used amount command, then media, then the BitLocker directory. Okay. So if you see this message, it means that you have first to amount the second directory. So I'll just replace here BitLocker by mount the second directory that we have created. Here we go. Now we can am out our first directory BitLocker. Here we go. So now we get no problem. Everything is unmounted so we can eject our USB drive, our USB BitLocker drive. Okay. So I hope it was very helpful for you. As always, thank you very much for viewing and see you next time. Bye-bye.